We're going to go swimming. Swim class. Is it good? Does it taste like a unicorn? Check it out. They got a new Star Wars ride. Hold it still. Hold it. It hurts. Oh, Is it squeezing you? It just squeezes. Deep breath. Good morning, Chicklets. How are you doing this beautiful, sunny Tuesday morning? I am so bad at remembering the days since I work from home. It's funny, when you have like school or when you have a job Monday through Friday, like you're very good, oh, it's Monday, Tuesday, oh, it's Wednesday, I only got like two days of work left. Like, you know your days. But since I work from home and I pretty much work every day, the days just kind of blur together, which is a good and a bad thing. You wanna say good morning, Chicklets? Good morning, Chicklets, how are you guys doing? <laughs> what are we doing today? We're gonna go swimming! Swim class! Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Today is our third swim class out of, I think, like eight for the series. I don't know if I've really told you why we're doing swim class. Well, one, it's fun, but two, we wanted to get kind of a refresher for Baby Chick on swimming before the uh, lake season begins, before we head up to Pop Owls and start going on his boat and swimming and all that. Just to kind of keep things safe, make sure we know what we're doing. Uh, she's an awesome swimmer and she doesn't really freak out around the water too much, but you know, never hurts to have a refresher course. Plus, it's super duper fun, huh? Lots of fun? You were going underwater and everything, I was proud of you. And unlike her swim class a year or two ago, a year ago maybe, uh, it's not a daddy-daughter thing or a parent and child thing, it's just baby shake. So she's out there, like five or six kids with the instructor, which is kind of cool because it, it means that daddy can just watch her and enjoy it as opposed to having to be part of it, which is also kind of sad. Do you wish daddy was out there swimming with you or do you like having the instructor? I can't hear you. Daddy. You wish daddy was out there? Yeah, it would be fun, but once you get good at swimming, maybe we'll go back there, just me and you, and we can go on the big water slide and have fun. Okay. All right, let's go to swim class. Are you cold? You ready to go shower? But it was good? High five. I saw you doing good. What are we doing today? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we doing? Going to my doctor appointment. Yay! Yay! And then what are we doing? Going on the day. Yay! Okay guys, so we're headed to uh, Little Goose's doctor appointment for the cardiologist, the checkup on her heart. Um, we brought Aunt Cece so that that way she keeps mommy calm and any questions that I have that the doctor answers but I still don't understand or whatever, I just usually am like, hey sis. Yeah, that's why I bring my sister along. She's kind of my, I don't know, anxiety buffer along with this guy. Squeezing you? It just squeezes. Deep breath. It's like, it's like, good job. Okay guys, I don't know if we
haven't officially told you, but we are at the uh, Dornbecker Hospital here in Portland because Baby Chick had that x-ray and that EKG and they heard a heart murmur and they had like cloudiness and all that. But uh, we are officially done here. The specialist came in, listened to our heart, and within a matter of minutes, she's like, she's fine. It's just an innocent murmur, no big deal. Uh, just no further problems of any sort. We don't have to do any more tests. So we're done. This whole heart murmur thing she is put to bed. She is good to go. So that was like the best case scenario. So good news, kid. You're healthy. We can't leave yet. <laughs> We have to wait for the doctor. We have to get a piece of paper. They have to give us discharge paperwork. This was one of the coolest good. hospitals though, huh? They were super nice, all sorts of toys, you were free flowers. Do you want to go to Starbucks and try one of those unicorn uh, drinks? You want a unicorn drink? And then you and mommy and auntie can go on a date? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah! I don't think the doctor wants to measure things. We don't want to get measured, see how tall you are? Makes sense. She's a musical. Yeah, but I don't think the doctor wants you to play. Okay, how about you stand up next to it? I'll just use my hand. So stand up nice and tall. Hard to say. You good? Right there? Okay, step out. What number is that? 20. No, what does it start with? What's the first? 4. Yep. And 2. 42. Wait, didn't she say she was 43? She also doesn't have her Is this something? Back, James. Oh, put your feet all the way back. Yeah, the do doctor definitely likes. That's not. She's not even forty-two. Oh wait. No, you read. You read by there. Okay, okay. Yeah, because it's. <laughs> oh. What are you talking about? Doing something without daddy? Are you gonna do something without me? Are you gonna do something without me? Fine, no rainbow drink for you. you yes, I'm not. Yes, you're not. Okay, guys, Starbucks is doing this thing where it's like a unicorn rainbow frappuccino. I have no idea what it is. You, hey, kiddo, do you want to be the first one to try it? Mm-hmm. What'd you get? How is it? Good? Is it good? Mmm. Oh, oh, thank you. That's good. Okay. And it's supposed to, like, change flavors as you drink it because it's, like, unmixed. I don't know, but... Is it good? Does it taste like a unicorn? Uh, because I figured we would share it. I just got three and then we could all kind of pass it around. So comment down below, have you guys tried that and what do you think of it? Because it looks cool, I'm just not sure how it tastes. Here, look at that, I can't see. Okay, okay. I can't see. I can't see, okay. Oh, it's in my mouth now, ew. <laughs> and CC is teaching baby chick how to snapchat. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, ready? Okay, serious photo, smile. No, I don't want your ear in my mouth. <laughs> Longer than a few minutes later. Check it out, they got a new Star Wars ride. Battle Pod. That looks intense. How do you open it? After you, my lady. Is it a single person? Holy crud, it's like, it's like a 360 experience. Does the seat probably move? That is, that Here, is incredible. Give it a try. Yeah, you want me to do it? I want you to try it. This thing looks incredible. Okay. Oh man, I don't even know what to think about this. What? It's crazy.
down. I'm proud of you. That was that was amazing. Twenty-four hours later. Just thought that I would let you guys know how uh, Goose's appointment went. It was actually a relief because the doctor said that we will probably not have to see her ever again, which is quite nice. It's just a harmless heart murmur, at least as of right now. So I'm guessing that is all it will be, and it will get better. She. Gets yeah, come older. In here. here comes this one. Hello, Zizi Kalitz. We are talking with a very awkward French accent out here because we are eating soup. But but it's it's not yeah. French soup. I know. Okay. But it's soup. <laughs> okay, goodbye. It was great news. Just a big sigh of relief. Um, I want to thank my sister. I'm so glad that she came because there's always those questions that you have afterwards. That you're like, oh, I should have asked this. Oh, I should have asked that. Oh, wait, what What did they say? Maybe it was, you know, this or that or whatever. And so she was just like answering all the questions that I had after. And then that way I didn't have to like wait on the phone or call or whatever. Um, anyway, so it was great news. I, I'm i so relieved. I'm, yeah. Yeah, big sigh of relief. And then this one... I think we already told you, we're just giving her meds for GERD and seeing how that works and if it helps. Um, so I guess we'll just see how it goes. Isn't that right? Yeah. Finally sleeping. Finally sleeping.